towards the sun like we shot from guns living in a fantasy cause with you by my side I gotta ride or die we'll be rebels you and me sailing towards the sun like we shot from guns living in a fantasy <laughs> Hello Taurus, this is Inspire 2016 with your monthly tarot reading for the month of November 2016. The first card for you is representing, your condition at present. Your card is, the justice. This card indicates the symbol of justice. Thus, when this card appears, it means you are in a situation that needs justice to solve problems. You must handle problems with deliberation and make decision on what to do carefully. For work, jobs relating to law or requiring careful management of documents are suitable for you. For finance, you will have many expenses. Thus, it may help if you make a record on your income and expense. For love, you will expect much from your lover. If you lower your expectation, you will have more pleasant relationship. You may need to release all of your thoughts about what is right and wrong, and just accept what is. Stop judging yourself constantly about whether you are doing the right thing or whether it is working. You are where you are and you just need to accept your current situation. Just allow yourself to be in the moment and withhold any immediate judgment. The Justice card also suggests that you may be better off by bending the rules a little and being a bit more flexible with your current circumstances. Of course, you also need to act in a way that is fair and just, and not underhanded, otherwise karma will come back to you. If you are engaged in a legal matter, you may be concerned about an unfair outcome. You may dispute the final judgment calling into question the whole legal process. There may be legal complications or something that gets in the way of justice being served. You may be biased or unfairly judging others, failing to seek out the truth or a balanced perspective. Your opinions are biased and have been swayed by others. Be mindful of how you judge or criticize others and ensure that you have a balanced view before you go swinging the sword of justice. The second card for you is representing, the immediate challenge or problem that you'll be facing. Your card is, the Ten of Cups. During this time, you will have to involve with many people, for work. You may have to coordinate with others or go out to visit external people. Overall, you will get a proper cooperation which make things run smoothly and tends to have a positive result. For finance, there is no difficulty as you will get financial support and assistance from someone. If you are single, you will have a chance to find love. If you have a lover, you will understand each other well. In terms of romantic relationships, there is a beginning of a new, very happy relationship, or the ultimate satisfaction of a long-term relationship. Commitment and love are the requirements of such satisfaction, yet this card promises that with the required effort a lasting love can be built. The time will also be made for the enjoyment of pleasures, 
which may be shared with another person whom you love. Outside of relationships and the family, the Ten of Cups is also reflective of your personal values system and what you believe will bring you the ultimate fulfillment and happiness in your life. This card represents a time when you are very clear on where your personal beliefs and values lie and you have successfully created a life that is aligned to those values. It may reflect a spiritual or religious person who lives in peace and harmony. It may also reflect strong family values that were instilled within you early in life which are now helping you to create a fulfilling lifestyle. The Ten of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and go with your intuition about where the best opportunities lie. As an intuitive person, you know that you can trust your gut feeling to guide you. When you feel truly happy and inspired about something, you know that that is the way to go. Aim to seek out opportunities that make you feel fulfilled and that are aligned with your personal values, rather than simply following the path that others expect you to take. You have to do what feels right to you and you only. The third card for you is representing, your goal, aspiration or best outcome with regards to your situation. Your card is. The Four of Cups. You may have over expectation and thus, feel unsatisfied with your current situation. Though your life is quite pleasant in others aspect, you still feel that things do not result as you expected. You may feel better if you can adjust your perspective. For work, you are still dissatisfied with work and your boss is too strict with you. Thus, you should concentrate and focus more on trifling details of your work. You may be growing tired of the same old struggle that has been carried on too long in the past. As a result, you have started to withdraw and go within yourself to seek greater peace and tranquility. If you are becoming particularly pouty or sulky about your predicament, the Four of Cups is then a call to action. It is time to wake up. Be alert and to be open to new experiences that offer a more positive outcome. The Four of Cups can sometimes point to defensiveness. This can be noticed in the body language displayed in the crossed arms and legs of the man on the card. He chooses to ignore the possibility of what the cup has to offer. Possibly he has been hurt emotionally before, as this is the suit of cups, and he is fearful to expose himself to that again. Hence he is closing himself off to this opportunity. Consider what opportunities you are ignoring or declining, and ask yourself whether this is because you truly believe you would not benefit from it, or whether this is because you are fearful of what may follow. Be mindful of any defensiveness in your responses and reactions. At its worst, the Four of Cups is a stubborn, ungrateful and self-absorbed card. Whether you are off in your own little world, depressed, selfish, afraid to reach out or are nursing wounds from a bad relationship, the isolation in your world is self-imposed. You may be only concerned with your own troubles and problems, neglecting the needs of others. Be mindful that your detachment from being part of the world is becoming an issue. Remember, there is always an opportunity for you to reconnect with the world around you. Look at that cup being offered to you. Often, the Four of Cups indicates that an offer has been presented to you but you are holding off making any sort of decision or evaluation of that opportunity until you have had more time for reflection and consideration. Notice that while the man in this card has not accepted the offer being presented to him, he has not completely rejected it either. The cup will continue to be there and the decision to accept or reject it can be made at any point. For now, though, it is the time for contemplation, research and meditation. When all of the answers are in, and it feels right emotionally, then you can take action but in the short term, you do not need to make an immediate choice. The fourth card for you is representing, issues from the past that have led to your current situation. Your card is. The Two of Cups. 
You may have led a simple and easy life in the past without any big problem. You may have found a new love or had someone coming into your life. You may have been refreshed, happy and fulfilled in love. There was some friendship as well. You may have got good support regarding your work and finance. Thus, you may not have much difficulty in your life. Besides, you may receive good advices on your work, business and investment. For finance, there is no difficulty as you will earn enough money to spend and have some though not much for saving. This card can refer to marriage, proposals and engagements, particularly as this card portrays what looks like a wedding or hand fasting. It is a reflection of commitment between two individuals, to say that they will go through life together, always considerate of each other's needs and wishes. Outside of love, the Two of Cups reflects a partnership of sorts, be it a business partnership, friendship or even a relationship between a person and their pet. This card also points to what is happening within the individual. To be truly loved, deeply treasured and valued highly by others, you must first and foremost strive to create those feelings for yourself. That is, when you work toward loving yourself, you hold your inner spirit in higher regard, treating it with deference and deep respect. When you see yourself in this positive light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value in an equally positive manner. The fifth card for you is representing, your subconscious realm, the underlying feelings and trends associated with your current situation. Your card is, the Ten of Pentacles. In the past, you may have felt more matured and serious with life. Overall situation in your life may have become clearer and more certain. You may have got higher security in life or planned for your finance or making more money to strengthen security for your life and your family. For work, you have a chance to progress slowly. For finance, you may receive a lump sum money to relieve your cash flow issue. For love, you may find a rich person or meet someone through the recommendation of your friends or relatives. With the focus on the family, you may be more inclined to direct a lot of your energy into ensuring that your family has everything that they need, from finances, to security and a good home life. You want to ensure that your children and family will always have everything they need. The Ten of Pentacles shows how family, or even extended family, is incredibly important. It represents tradition being a part of something bigger and realizing that the blood of your ancestors runs through your veins. It signifies that you are part of a long chain of individuals who subsequently creates a family, a tribe and a society. It provides structure where you can sit safely and comfortably, knowing that you are a part of history and heritage. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of affluence and wealth. You are blessed with material abundance and are now free from any sort of money troubles, you feel financially secure and you are fortunate enough to have luck and success on your side to ensure your financial reserves are high. The sixth card for you is representing, your immediate future. Your card is, the Hierophant. The situation will be on the right track. You will have a chance to get promoted or get a higher salary. You will also get support from your seniors to solve problems at work. If you have your own business, it will be more secure but you have to manage your company's finance appropriately to reduce your business risk. Your financial status will start to recover and be more systematic. For love, if you are single, you may meet an elder person flirting with you. If you have a lover, your relationship is still pleasant. You may receive news about religious ceremony or have a chance to practice the Dharma at the temple which will make you have a more pleasant life. You may be wise to follow established social structures and traditions. You may be involved in some sort of ritual, ceremony, or the trappings of religion. 
There is also a need to honor some tradition in your life, or maybe start some traditions of your own if you have none. Consider also exploring your spiritual or religious heritage. The Hierophant card often stands for institutions and their values. The Hierophant is a symbol of the need to conform to rules or fixed situations. His appearance can show that you are dealing with a force that is not innovative, free-spirited or individual but is instead fixated on the way we have always done things around here. Groups can be enriching or stifling depending on circumstances. Sometimes we need to follow a program or embrace tradition, while at other times we need to trust ourselves. The seventh card for you is representing the advice for you or what approach can be taken to address your current challenges. Your card is the Page of Wands. You may find that problems at this time are small but annoy you greater than expected. For work, be careful of making mistake in details especially regarding unexpected small points. Though it is not a big problem but you should not be careless. However, during this time, you should be more careful before making decision and solving problems. Your bad points are that you are too hot tempered and have short concentration span. Thus, you should keep cool and be more careful in order to better handling things. On the other hand, you are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the Page of Wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or lose interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the Page of Wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. The eighth card for you is representing the external influences that can be the people, energies or events which will affect the outcome of your situation and are beyond your control. Your card is the Queen of Cups. You need to empathize with others and to show true compassion focus on the emotional well-being of others rather than relying on rational or logical explanation. You are here to support and to teach others, by drawing upon your own intuition and sense of calm and emotional connectedness. Learn how those in need cope with life's challenges and share your knowledge. Hug someone you care about. There might be a significant mature female figure in your life or as a part of yourself. She is nurturing, caring, 
compassionate and sensitive. She can sense the needs of those around her. She can be passive and receptive. Her sensitivity draws those who struggle and suffer towards her. In many ways, she is a safe harbor for others. Her ability to connect on a soul level enables her to remedy the broken hearts of others. Her warmth and genuine caring make her a beacon of light. Because she is so responsive to the feelings of others, she must constantly uphold her boundaries between herself and others. If not properly protected, she can lose her own sense of self. This is her greatest vulnerability. On the other hand, situation remains unchanged. You can live a smooth life without any worry or stress. However, you may get bored as it is not challenging and you have more free time. For work, you may get bored as you feel that you are not motivated. If your job requires creative ideas, you may feel dull and difficult to create any idea. But if you work in other fields, you will not be busy and there is still no progress at work. If you are a man, you will meet a plump quiet woman who of fair skin, and live in her own little world. If you are a woman, you may have to go out in order to find love. The ninth card for you is representing, your hopes, wishes, dreams and fears. Your card is, the Ace of Cups. You may feel tired and want to take a rest. You would like to stay still and let things that make you stressed go. This is due to your hard working and insufficient relaxation in the past. You may want to travel, and isolate yourself from society. If you are single, you may want to have someone coming into your life or begin a relationship with someone again. It can also indicate the start of a new relationship, be it a friendship or a romance. This is one of those relationships where you feel butterflies in your stomach and you are so pleased to have met someone with whom you can share a special connection. The water in the card reflects the flow of emotion and thus the Ace of Cups suggests that positive emotion and energy will be created between two people in a way that leaves you feeling good about yourself and life in general. You need to experience the feeling of new love or of giving and receiving unconditional love. Give and accept love on a new level and open your heart to what is around you. Your loving ways will magnetize love to you. This card often means that love is the essence of the situation. It may or may not be romantic love. Look for ways in which you can begin to connect with others. Do you have someone to forgive? or do you want to ask for forgiveness? Can you set aside your anger and find peace? Would you like to drop your reserve and let your feelings show? This is a peaceful time in your life so use it and make peace with friends or yourself. The Ace of Cups is also about creative expression, particularly where there is an opportunity to allow your emotions to shine through. You are very open to experiencing your inner feelings and sharing them with others. You may be inspired to start a new creative project, take up an art class or two, or even engage in interpretative dance. You are at that point in your life where you feel comfortable with who you are and what you feel and you are not afraid to express that part of yourself to others. You see new potential in allowing your creative juices to flow and as such, you are open to new possibilities and stimulating your imagination to allow your talent to unfold. There is certainly a generous, compassionate component to the Ace of Cups. This is a time of giving, not taking, and offering yourself to a new opportunity to help others. You have the power to bring great happiness to others and to share your contentment and positive energy. You will also find that the more you give, the more you receive on multiple levels. The last card for you is representing, the outcome. Your card is, the Ten of Swords. Situation will eventually come to an ending point. There will be disappointment after the highest tension. The good point is that things will not get any worse than this. 
there will be conclusions for prolonged problems. For work, there will be obstacles and pressured. You may be moved or pressured to resign. If you run your own business, be careful of getting loss and risk of business close. For finance, your financial status and cash flow will be very terrible. For health, you may be sick and have to admit into the hospital or may have an operation. For love, you will be disappointed and may end your relationship. Overall, you have a bad fortune during this time. You should find an opportunity to do merit to improve your fortune. As with all endings there will be a new beginning, a rebirth, and a rejuvenation of the spirit. So, while this card may seem negative at first glance, it is a card of help and an indication that your troubles will not be permanent. Furthermore, this is the final ordeal, and no more pain will come to you from that source. It is darkest before the dawn, and as gloomy as it looks, the sun will rise again. It can only get better from here. The Ten of Swords is about letting go and accepting your current circumstances. You no longer resist change but allow it to happen, even if it causes some initial pain and hurt to you. You accept that there must be change in order to facilitate renewal, and you allow it to occur rather than fighting it. When this card appears after a painful situation, it is a signal to pick yourself up off the ground and to reflect upon what happened to you and why, and what you can learn from the experience. Hidden deep beneath the surface of the Ten of Swords is the ultimate power of the sword suit, the ability to analyze the situation and your responses, and learn from yourself. True wisdom does not come from without but from within. The Ten of Swords is a sign that the pain and hurt you have endured has not gone without purpose. The positive power within you can be used to learn from your pain and draw wisdom from defeat. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Soulmate Your prayer for a soulmate relationship is answered. Follow the guidance that you receive so that you may enjoy this gift of divine love. Your heart yearns for a big love. Since you are on the spiritual path, you desire a partner with a similar philosophy and common interests. Can you have great passion and spiritual companionship with the same person? This card confirms that your answer is, yes. By drawing this card, your angels ask you to trust in and follow their lead. Your angels have heard your prayers for a great love, and they guide you to take steps to manifest this desire. If you are in a current relationship, your angels ask you to release this partnership to them. In that way, they can help elevate your relationship to a soulmate level, or help you to gently end it so that your new love may appear. Either way, they will closely assist you and give you clear steps to take. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading, just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.